This picture illustrates the instrument cluster with the steering wheel removed. Use your fingers to pop out the top of the instrument cluster bezel from the dashboard. Carefully pull away from the instrument cluster to detach the trim piece at the top. The bottom is a bit harder to grab, so I use a plastic door removal tool. Work your way around the bezel until the entire part is popped out of the opening in the dashboard. Then remove the bezel completely. If you are worried about scratching the clear plastic of the instrument cluster, you can cover it with a rag where you are levering from. Remove the four T25 torque fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Then pull the instrument cluster out of the opening by pulling the top out first. You will not be able to completely remove the unit until you disconnect the electrical connector. Pull it out as much as you can to expose the electrical connector. While pushing in on the locking tab, green arrow, slide the locking lever, yellow arrow, in the direction of the blue arrow. With the locking lever in this position, you can now unplug the connector from the instrument cluster and completely remove the instrument cluster from the car. There are no serviceable bulbs on this instrument cluster. It must be serviced as a complete assembly. Mercedes-Benz does not recommend opening the assembly as electrostatic discharge can damage the electronics in the instrument cluster. If you do open the unit to change the gauge faces, use an anti-static wrist strap to prevent electrostatic discharge. Installation is the reverse of the removal steps. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.